Heather Somerville of the Wall Street Journal. You're with Weekend from the BBC World Service. A reminder of our main news, the head of a major power firm in Ukraine has urged residents to consider leaving the country to ease pressure on the stricken electricity network. Now, opera is, uh, for many of its fans, the grandest of the performing arts. Uh, luxurious stage sets, large casts, and three acts, the beginning, the middle, and often a statuesque soprano singing at the end. Does it always have to follow that particular set of rules and be quite so highbrow? Well, here in the UK, one of the country's two major opera companies, the English National Opera, has had its funding cut in half and been told to move out of London, perhaps to Manchester, in the north of the country. The head of the body that provides funding for the arts says opera companies should consider performing away from opera houses, possibly in car parks, in pubs. And some British opera companies are now receiving public money for the first time. Opera Up Close, which stages, quote, unintimidating and affordable opera, is one of them, and its artistic director, Flora McIntosh, is here. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Thank you. And what will the new money mean? Well, the new money enables us to show opera has flexibility and scale. Um, I think the thing that sometimes is... Um, misdirected is the idea that opera really should only exist on one scale or indeed opera is only